Hi everyone, I'm Lauren, I have ADHD, and this is I Know What I'm Doing. This is the channel where I indulge my urge to start new hobbies with little to no prior knowledge and the faith that I'll figure it out as I go. I'm not always safe, please don't do as I do. Today I'm getting the last bits of paint and veneer off the main body of Verna's cabinet. If you don't know who Verna is, check out part one here. If you enjoy watching this, please subscribe. Check the description for links to my coffee and Patreon accounts. New hobbies are expensive, so are good microphones and cameras, so your donations are greatly appreciated. You probably know the drill at this point. I'm going a little bit faster this time because I want to get this part finished up for you this week, but I don't want to give you a 15 minute video. The piece I'm removing here is the hook for the control pedal, either for storage or maybe for using your knee instead of your foot. I'm not entirely sure, but it works. Yes, I poked myself a little bit there. I promise I'm fine. I thought maybe I could pry the panels apart at this point and make things easier, but I was wrong. My phone ran out of storage, but there was a good bit of steaming and peeling just like in previous videos, and now I'm cleaning it up with some mineral spirits. There's a little latchy thing for the cabinet door, but the screw is stuck in good and not worth trying to remove. And now on to the last bit of veneer. My hair is weird here, I just got out of the shower and threw it in a quick ponytail so I could get to work. This part provides support for the machine when it's stowed. Easy enough to reverse wood chop that veneer off. The other side wants to stay though, and that's fine. Then 
this veneer is being so friendly. Look at those nice, even strips. I was wondering how I was going to get that bit off. Turns out it was just that easy. The veneer on this top surface was protected by the door, so it's just giving the sanding and oiling treatment. Blasting the paint with straight steam doesn't do the trick, so it looks like it has to be ironed. Or maybe the legs will just have to be sanded. Steam does not have the same effect on the varnish, so that's going to need to be sanded too. You know, I'll bet that support piece from the inside could make a pretty nice sanding block. Unfortunately, the legs seem to be a bit concaved, either from drying or from previous sanding, so it's not really going to work out.
Now please join me in welcoming our special guest, Benny! His owner has unfortunately moved away since this was filmed, so I don't get to see him anymore. That's where we're going to end things for this week. Nice clean cabinet body ready for oil. If you have a hobby you think I should try, drop it in the comments along with any useful bits of advice or thoughts on the video. I'll see you Friday when I oil this up. Love you!